It's this, a quiz where you can learn what type of art marketing will work best for you as an artist. Huh. Oh, Alexis. No, not the overwhelm. Yep. Yep. It is me, the overwhelm, the feeling of desperation. I sense you were going to be productive, so I came to paralyze you with fear and self-doubt. Overwhelm, please. I just want to learn how I can improve my art marketing for my business. Marketing! Ooh. <laughs> marketing and business aren't really your strong suit, Alexis. I mean, you're an artist. Just do artist things. Besides, marketing business is really hard and probably go way over your head. <laughs> Overwhelm, are you gaslighting me? What? The most successful artists in the world talk about the importance of marketing their art. And it says here, with the right strategy, anybody of any background can create an incredibly effective marketing plan. I'm gonna do it. Don't click that button. I want my art business to succeed. I resist you, overwhelm be gone. No! Throughout my career, I have helped hundreds of artists build profitable businesses online with their art. But one of the issues that keeps cropping up time and time again is that artists will tell me, Alexis, I'd love to grow my business to five and six figures, but right now I'm not even sure where to begin. The idea of marketing online is simply too overwhelming. It's true, marketing can be overwhelming when you don't know what you're doing. However, I'm here to tell you that with the right plan, marketing can actually be fun. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's the word itself that is kind of a drag, isn't it? Marketing. It's businessy, left brainy, mysterious, a little scary. It just doesn't seem like a lot of fun. But what a lot of artists don't realize is that the word marketing simply means a way to get your art out to more people. And do you know what selling more of your art to more people means? You'll be able to continue running your art business which will allow you to continue making art. It's really that simple. You might say, okay, Alexis, but who are my people? Where do I find them? The people you're going to want to go out and find are your ideal buyers. Your ideal buyers will form the backbone of your business and will be the core unit of people that will support you and your work throughout your entire career. They're your number one fans and they'll be with you through the highs and lows of your art business. Why? Because much like you believe in yourself as an artist, your ideal buyers believe in you just as strongly. They will have a deep emotional connection with your art and they'll have a want and a need for it. I saw a fun quote recently where an artist wrote, I think everyone who judges artists and tells them you should have gone into tech or something useful should have to go 30 days without reading, TV, movies, museum visits, video games, theater, music, art in the home, audiobooks, podcasts, or anything. After 30 days deprived of the contributions of artists, I'd be interested to know if any of those people would still judge artists in the same way. These are the same wants and needs of your ideal buyers that I'm talking about. Whatever the art is that you create, I can guarantee you there are ideal buyers out there just waiting to get their hands on it. Your art fulfills a human need that they have deep inside of them. A lot of artists will say to me, Alexis, fine. Let's say I find my ideal buyers. I don't wanna to have to sell to them. That sounds hard. I just want them to buy my art. But here's the thing. You might make the most incredible art in the world, but if people don't know about it, they won't be able to buy it. Moreover, when you really understand who you are as an artist and what type of marketer you are, you'll be able to sell without selling to your ideal buyers. And it won't be hard. It'll come easy. Selling without selling means you'll be able to market your art to your buyers from a place of integrity and authenticity that comes directly from your vision as an artist. No flim flam, no BS, it's just you speaking as the real you about what you really believe in. And one of the first ways to find your authentic marketing self is to find out what type of marketer you are. This is actually the fun part. When you take our art marketing type quiz, you're going to learn a whole lot about yourself and how you most enjoy communicating with people. 
There are five marketing types, dreamer, optimistic, visionary, architect, and classic. Which one are you? Find out by clicking on the link in the description to take the quiz. It takes less than a minute, but the takeaways will last a lifetime. Once you know what type of marketer you are, your communication with your buyers will change from marketing to them to having a conversation with them. Marketing seems challenging, but having a conversation, now that's easy. When you really speak to your buyers and really listen to them to figure out what their wants and needs are, you're going to get all kinds of incredible feedback that's going to be beneficial to both you and them. And the best way to have an authentic conversation with your buyers is to know what type of marketer you are. Hopefully, we've now taken a little bit of the mistake out of the word marketing for all of you artists out there, but we've also got a free workshop going on right now that will help you begin building a marketing plan and help you understand how NFTs can help your art career. So be sure to click on that link also in the description. And don't forget to take the art marketer type quiz so that the next time we meet, you'll be able to answer the question with confidence, what type of marketer are you?